trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, this is where we left you uh, yesterday. We were right there. We were buying this right here at uh, Australian dollar at 66.22. Our stop was 03. The low was 14. It made $250. When it went up to the 382, which equaled the same rally that we had had before. Same number of bars, same rally, did exactly what it should have. Now, we had one in the soybeans, but that one lost four cents. We sold it at 10.06. It got stopped out, stopped out at 10.10, and it rallied all the way up to 10.18. So we got out of that pretty good. So that's what we did uh, yesterday, uh, today. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at what's going on today. So we're going to get this out of the way, get some of our charts up, and this was our uh, number one of the day. Let's get this out of the way here. This one right here, folks. This is one I sent the video out early this morning because we were making some really beautiful patterns here. Uh, this is the, well, let's go to the 13 minute here just to show you the uh, the larger pattern that we were looking at. This big ABCD that was right up here. You'll see we went up, we went to this level right here. And what we did was we showed you this on the daily chart to show you that all it was doing was going up and touching the 382 retracement one more time. We took out the highs by just a little bit. And I said, well, you can try, try to sell it there, but the easiest and safest trade would be to go down to a smaller time frame and wait for a 382 retracement. So there was your high and a nice place to sell it. There was your 1.618 number coming in at 7231. The high was 72.31. Now, if you were asleep during those hours, all you had to do was to wait for this, boys and girls. Look at this. Absolute perfect. A, B, C, D. And where was it? Yes, right exactly at the 382. And you'll notice that the A, B, C, D price objective on this took you down to this level right here. And look what it did, folks. After making that high, it came down and rallied one more time. And it misses the 382 by five pips. And then it's going down lower and lower and lower. This is the kind of trade that you really like to go. This was well over uh, $40 risk, for, for, excuse me, $400 risk, $1,200 profit, three to one. That's the kind you really like to, to see, you know, line up uh, the way you'd like to see them. So that's what we're paying uh, close attention to here. Uh, with the uh, the crude oil. Okay, now we have one other one that is in the hopper right now. Let's get it up here so we can take a look at it. Now, here again, this one might not work, but this is the kind that you want to be watching. This is the soybean trade. Here's where we sold it. You remember we sold it at 06, right up in here. Our stop was at 10. We got stopped out right here. It went all the way up to 18, and look what it did. It came down, went right to the 382 again, right here at 1008 and so your risk here is 1012 you're below the open uh, quite excuse me quite quite a bit below the open because the opening was up in here so that's another positive thing going for it so that's a low risk trade those are the kind we want to be paying attention to okay all right now let's move over here and talk about this russell because the Russell is really trying to make a 382 retracement now remember folks this has taken 10 days Really big move down. We went uh, we went below the 78% level in the Russell yesterday. If you'll see, you'll be able to watch it right there. Oh, excuse me. We hit it right on the money. Very sorry about that one. I didn't realize that. And then that's held. So that's a good sign. Now, there's a 382 here. And I don't know what's going to happen to the stock market today, but nobody else does either. But if we do get an ABCD here at this level, that would be a very, very valid ABCD 
in a bear market because there, there's where you would be right there. And so whether we get there or not, that's only 40, uh, 26 points. But believe me, this thing, when it moves, goes like a rocket ship. So you can see some of these once they come out of here, they're pretty good. So far, the, the, the 786 today, and the, yesterday in the Russell, today it was the Dow Jones that held. And the S&P also held, and the NASDAQ also held, telling us that, yeah, there's a possibility here that we've got these things moving in the right direction, okay? So let's move on and go on to the next one, which is the British pound. Now, yesterday in the British pound, we had another rally. You can see here, we rallied back to the, just get this up here so we'll be able to see it. Uh, this is a 382 from this high right Hold on, boys and girls. Let me get this up here so we can get it lined up just perfectly. From this high, went right to the 382 right here. Now, we backed off a little bit. So this is uh, still still going down. So there's nothing, nothing new under the sun here. But uh, if we start getting above here, that's why you sold it here. Your stop on this would be basically back at break even now. But remember, folks, we've added to this thing three times since the high was made back in here. See, this is where we are. We're sitting right there on that number right now. That's why it's going to be ready to have a little bit of a rally. And as you can see, it's really trying. And if you look at it real closely in here, and we're going to do that right now by using the four-hour chart. And there it is. Okay, I think that we're probably getting ready for a pretty good rally here in this puppy because this looks exactly like the Australian dollar yesterday, boys and girls. Here it is right here. There's drive one. There's drive two, there's drive three, setting, oh, right at the 1618 expansion. So, boy, if we start getting above, remember, we sold this thing way, way back here, folks. I mean, you know, <laughs> uh, 134 and change, and we're at, uh, this is 132. So, all I would do is, at this point, all you'd be expecting now is a pretty good bounce off of this. So, the only thing that you would have to do is to, uh, there's where we sold it, uh, right back here, if you remember, on the end of September. So the 382 on that whole move down, just to show you what a dead cat bounce it'll be, would only take you to this level. At this point, you'd still have $2,000 profit in it. So and there's, there's the area where you want to be looking to sell it again. And it's not going to get there in one day because that's 130 pip. Well, it's possible. But anyway, that's what you're, that's what you could be looking at right here as you're watching this here uh, unfold, okay? So those are the main ones that we're looking at. The other one that we talked about was the wheat, and I wanted to show you how wheat acted because it did exactly what we wanted it to, but the problem was if you weren't watching it really closely, you sort of missed the boat. And, well, you never really missed it very much because it's still acting pretty good. We were said to buy this 382 retracement with your stop below here. Look at this. You came all the way up. It made 10 cents, came back, gave you a chance. We have to change this because, you know, we went higher. So that means you got a new 382, and you come up, and you'll pull it up again. And there it was. Uh, well, it went to the 50% level. The difference here is two cents, folks. So that's still holding up okay. And now we've had a little bit of a movement here on this shorter term. And you can see we have just a little tiny bit of a pullback here also acting pretty bullish. Okay, so stopped again right at the 3-2. This is still acting pretty bullish in the week. So that's what we're paying attention to. So let's take a break. Mike Moore will be our guest at More Analytics. We're going to go over that energy market like a fine-tooth comb today, folks. we got rocking and rolling over there. We don't want to miss it. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educate investors. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter. Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Folks, we're going to take a look at the silver market here. You can see this is going back uh, about three, well, almost a month. You, you can see the 1.618 expansion took you to 3504. Remember, on the weekly, we were looking for 3522 uh, on the weekly chart. We'll get up here so you'll be able to see it. There it is right there, the 35, excuse me, 3520, uh, 3520 to uh, 3528 is what we were looking for. So we got there. But if we look at this, I want to show you the volatility in, in – in, um, try it again, Larry. Silver. First of all, we come down. All right, this is a $10,000 move. Okay, this is a $5,000 move up going to the 61% retracement. And then another $5,000. That's a $15,000 move, folks, in two days up and down. Now, this must be an important spot. So all I'm going to do now is to check to see if it's a 382 off of this last low that we made right back here. And uh, you can see here, uh, it's not. That that comes back to this old high right here. And this is going to be really interesting because if it does that, it will also be making an ABCD at that same spot. So um, nothing bearish about this yet, folks. You can see here, this still has potential to go higher. This is just nothing more than a wicked two-day correction look at this look at this correction here folks we went from 33 we dropped fifteen thousand dollars what's this one fifteen thousand dollars let's see how close they will be to being said oh no this was much much greater than the other one because this happened all in one time see this this is only going to correct ten thousand dollars down from the high see this one corrected fifteen thousand so it's still acting still acting pretty good but let's look at it just a little bit closer what we're going to do now is we're going to go down to a four-minute chart because I was actually watching this this morning. Uh, notice we had the break. There's that same little 382 retracement right here, folks. It went from 34.15, went right down and made the target right here. That was 50 cents 
in, which is a lot, then what it do? It makes another little A, B, C, D pattern right here. Just misses the 382 by four cents. Oh, let's try. Yeah, not, not even yeah, three cents. And now we've come down. We've made a new low. So the first thing you have to do is to correct itself from the high that you made back in here to see what the next 382 retracement's going to be. And as you can see, we just hit it just a minute ago here at 33.82 per ounce, and we're at 33.78. So those are the kind of things we'll be looking at on Friday to try to find uh, really nice buying opportunities. And there were some really good ones, folks. And, and so many things besides the crude oil today, if you would have been watching all the uh, markets at all the time intraday, Sometimes I do, sometimes I won't. I'll certainly be doing Friday. But look at this beautiful ABCD bottom right here. We had that same bottom happening in the gold market. Stopped right here and gold rallied another $15. That's equivalent to 30 handles in the S&P. So that's a, that's a big move, okay? Now, we've been asked to take a look at a couple things. By the way, if you remember yesterday, I'll have to bring this up because it was fun. I want to bring this up here because I don't trade Tesla at all but it's right here i believe yep here's tesla remember we said look it's setting right at the 61 percent retracement here at 213 and the low had been 212 uh 212 uh, 86 so it was within a dollar of this well there was an earnings report and the market is now trading up into here what we're going to do is we're going to go and defy human nature and bring it up here so that we can see it ourselves and take a quick look at Tesla because we look at that all the time anyway and we'll see how it's jumping around a little bit. Get to our daily chart that we were just looking at, had it pop up, and oh, are you kidding me? Now, if you'd have bought an option there, boys and girls, I think that would, this is a big run. This is why the NASDAQ is so strong. I didn't realize it was this, wow, this thing gapped up $30? Holy moly, guacamole. Well, sometimes these things work, boys and girls. I mean, this is a, if you'd have bought it, you, you, to go into earnings without, you know, uh, some type of risk control is insane, in any, especially this one, because it could have easily fallen out of bed like it did here, okay? But if you'd have bought a call, say you really believed that it was going to happen, like, you know, you guys know how tight Elon and I are, and he called me and he said, look, he said, I know you're not going to take advantage of this, but we're going to have some bunker earnings tomorrow so you're probably going to be right on this buy that you talked about on the show today and if anybody believes any of that i still have two shares of the brooklyn bridge okay anyway this is where you if you'd have bought a, a call option here you would have been risking quite a bit of the premium but boy it would have paid off huge huge so this is a this is why the nasdaq's going wacko i would imagine because that's part of the uh, maga group and that's a that's a big deal. Okay, let's get this out of the way here and see how Apple's holding up because it also had made an ABCD yesterday. If you remember, let's get this up here along with those others ABCDs that we were hitting yesterday. Get this there's your Apple. Uh, no, Apple went a tiny bit lower today. Let's see how how much. Oh, I know what it did. It didn't complete the ABCD. Let's just see what the actual ABCD was. Oh, this darn thing. Hold on just a second. Got to get rid of all this stuff. Okay, there's where we are. Now we'll just use the old ABCD tool. There's AB, there's CD. There was yesterday 28.95. Today it made a lower low at 28.64. It's now three dollars higher, so two dollars and a half higher. So not much going on at that point. But that is a really good ABCD because it's a lower low like that. What we should do is to, to connect to see if that would have hacked. Because it's taken seven days to do that, we would go over and look and see that, oh, hello, operator. Does that mean anything, Johnny? Put that placard up there, buddy. Put that placard up there, that old 382 pack. Hey, folks, I got a present for you guys. Christmas is coming for your friends. You see this book, The Key to Power Profits? You see that? This is written by Mark Douglas and Paula T. Webb Douglas. Folks, it's only 500 pages very easy to read and Christmas coming you want to give a gift to somebody that would keep on giving it's got all the stuff that these guys worked on all for all these years condensed in this 500 pages and you can get it at Amazon for only $300 correction $30 $30 for this 500 page book 
written by someone who passed away nine month, uh, nine years ago on September the uh, 27th. And um, Paul has been able to keep the thing running, and th this is a compilation of all their works. Uh, it's won lots of awards. It's, uh, it's all its way to being a bestseller on Amazon, but for $30, that's a cost of two hamburgers in Switzerland. Well, one hamburger in Switzerland, but anyway, that's uh, that's something that I would suggest you do. It's a great, I mean, it's real easy to read, weighs a lot, but 500 pages, and it, it's real simple to, you know, it's not a little tiny print that's tough on some of us old guys, but anyway, that's what we're, that's what I'd suggest you do for a Christmas present for somebody, or uh, I'm going to buy a few uh, I already have, but we're th these are th this is really a good deal. Let's get rid of this here and move on. And someone asked a question about the dollar index, and I will bring this up right now, and we will be talking. We'll have Mike Mork. Oh dear, how much time we got left here? Oh, 34 seconds. We got enough for the dollar index, I hope. Yeah, we do. We'll get this up here. Okay, now the dollar index you see has gone above the 618, and is now you see. I want to double check something here because, yeah, just testing back. It's all this. This is just testing back to 318. No big deal. We're going to take a break. Mike Moore is coming up. Stay tuned. 877-927-6648. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kickstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. 
Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks. Well, Mike Moore uh, seems to be busy today, so we're going to take a look at the crude oil complex here. I'm on here, the uh, longer term here, period here, there's a four-hour chart. We've had the one three five pattern that we pointed out to you. That was absolutely perfectly mathematically time and price. Okay, hold on here a second. We've got something going on over here. And there we got Mike is in the house now. Mike, one second. Let me take my charts off here, and you can start uh, uh, start your show and tell us what you're looking at in crude because we got a lot of action going over there today, my friend. What are you looking at? Start out with yes. uh, uh, crude and do Brent, heating oil, natural gas, and gasoline, and then we'll move to a couple other things, okay? Okay, can you see my screen okay? I think it's coming in perfect, you betcha. Okay, this is crude oil. We left a moderate bullish reversal below here on Tuesday, but we have violated that now and failed back down through this line, which warns of pressure, but we're kind of in this uh, in this quasi zone. Really, the Brent was the first one that failed its formation right here this morning early on, and we've been coming off from there. So I think we might make another run for these lows of the 18th. I'm sorry, let me go back to the uh, WTI. Um, if we fail below this formation down below here, which is going to come in at 68.76 plus 0.5 of a tick per hour starting at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that's going to project this down with $3.50 minimum, $7.70 plus maximum. I warned that today had a good likelihood of seeing range expansion. And uh, you can already see from the day's range here that it's bigger than yesterday's range. So we're seeing that range expansion. Um, so, yeah, I think we're going we're gonna to head down to test below here. However, once we get down below... Uh, 6817. Although we'll be down below this formation, I would also caution at that point we'll likely be in the last stage of this structure downward, and there's going to be some possible exhaustion levels on the way down to contend with. Mm -hmm. And the RBOB, similar thing, we had a bullish correction on Tuesday. All these, the RBOB, the heat, the Brent, and the gas oil, so I don't want to be repetitive, they all left bullish reversals on Tuesday and are collapsing those now. We did see a short run up the RBOB right in here. The break above um, 199.87, it projected this up with four cents, but we only saw 4.16 cents right here, just a quick pop up and now we're rolling back over. If this takes out this formation right here, that's gonna project this downward, that's gonna come in at 198.35. Sorry, I pulled the wrong one over here. One ninety-eight thirty-five plus three per hour, starting at one o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that'll project this downward seven point five cents minimum. And the heating oil, similar picture. Uh, we had broken above this formation right in here. Actually, let me just back up a second here. The heating oil we had originally gotten bullish from the break above 221.61 to 78. That brought in 5.1 cents of strength, and then we've rolled over since then. And the failure back down through this line right here now warrants a pressure likely to come back down and test these lower levels. This line right here is going to come in at 222.36. Sorry, I keep pulling the wrong one over. I'm sorry about that. Two twenty one thirty six minus six point five per hour starting at one o'clock p.m. If we fail back down through this lower formation, which is a well formed formation that comes in at two sixteen ninety six plus two per hour starting at uh, one o'clock p.m., that will project this downward nine cents minimum, uh, twenty nine cents plus maximum.
Uh, but likewise, same situation once we get down there, we'll likely be in the last stretch of the structure downward, so we're going to have to contend with some exhaustion levels down there. If we fail, but fail below this line decently and take out this low decently and then trade back above the line decently, I'd be out of all shorts long and looking for this to rally for days, probably back up in here. Okay. What about natural brand? gas, Mike? Natural? Okay. So natural gas, obviously a uh, decent gap higher today. This turned bullish yesterday, actually. All the bearish formations up in here on hold. I said the trade above 232.30, warrant of strength. That was the break above this line right here. We popped up, chopped sideways, and we're rallying higher again here today. We'd seen 119 ticks uh, as of this rally right here from at 244.20, and now we've traded up to 248.60. So another 44 ticks on top of the 119 that we already have. And it also looks like we're likely going to leave this gap open higher intact, uh, which is also bullish. Wow. Let me just check one more thing here. Now, this was, I think on the last show, I said that if we broke below this line right here, that it was going to project this downward. Just wanted to follow up from the last show. I said that, that would project this downward to 110 ticks minimum, 400 ticks plus maximum. And we attained 408 ticks of that right on the low there before breaking above some of these lines. Okay. Did you want to look at the Brent or the gas oil, or would you rather look would, at the I would SPV? like to do both. Let's go with Brent because, you know, it's getting yeah. a lot of play in the news these days. So yeah. let's take a look at that. Right. Yeah. Brent, similar picture to the WTI. The Brent was the first one to give uh, the heads up or not, uh, this morning. I had said uh, trade back below 75.29 with warrant of pressure. So we're starting to see that. Uh, that line is going to come in at 75.19 minus 2 per hour starting at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you can lean against that as a short if it rallied back up there. And this also has a significant pattern right down in here. We're a ways away from it. But if we fail back down through that, that is going to more continued pressure. That comes in to 71.03. Minus 0.8 of a tick per hour starting at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And again, I think that this this rollover here may be the beginning of the last stretch of this structure downward. So I'd be wary of some exhaustion levels down below here. Okay. Which of the which of the three, the heating oil, gasoline, and crude oil, which uh, looks at the best uh, for a sustained rally? Is it the crude oil or which one do, would, would you be suggesting? Oh, we got to take a break, Mike. Let's take a pay a few bills. We'll be right back with Mike Moore of More Analytics. Stay tuned, folks. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. 
But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're back speaking with Mike Moore and more analytics. Please continue, Mike. Can you see my charts? Yes, sir. Okay, so I think the last thing we were just leaving off on was the gas oil. The gas oil is also failed below formation, looking to head lower. And there's a uh, formation below that that comes in at 655, even plus four per hour starting at 1 o'clock p.m. And a decent break below there will project this downward quite a bit, probably down to 635 minus. And we also have a formation above here. That comes in at 676.42. At 1 o'clock, a decent break above there with more of uh, decent strength, and that probably comes down about 5 per hour. Did you want to look at the S&P or the gold or Bitcoin? Oh, yes. We want to look at S&P mm -hmm. and the gold. Please do. Let's do the S&P first, and then we'll do the gold after that. We're having a lot of volatility, okay, that's for sure. Yeah. So anybody who's been watching this for a while and seeing some of my calls, I'm just going to go over some of the macro stuff. And we've been bullish in here since, Larry, since you've been – Interviewing me since holding macro exhaustion at 3502. We've rallied 2,425 handles from that. A lot of other bullish calls in here. One more recent to note the trade above 5678.50. I said projects us up for 240 minimum, 570 plus maximum. You've retained 248.75 of that. And then I would say that I warned that. Um, and I said, note, I warned that we held possible macro exhaustion at 58.18.50 to 27.50 three times now. And let me just show you that on the chart. This is on this other chart. So we've held this here, here, and here. It started to roll over a bit. And just so you know that if this starts a correction, a, a medium-term correction, it should exceed 615 points from the high. That would be a smack down to the 53.12 area minimum. If it, if a more macro correction uh, ensues, that would be far more. That would be over a thousand points. Uh, so we'll have to see. Now, we rolled over and we held this formation right here exactly this morning. Popped up. If we take that out on the downside, that's going to come in at 58.08. 15 plus 22 per hour starting at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That'll project this downward 60 minimum, 140 plus maximum. We break below there decently back up through it decently look for decent short cover to come in. Also, just coincidentally, yesterday we had broken below this bearish formation, came off, rallied all the way back up here, 
and I had said this morning to sell against or approaching a decent stop above 58.42.19. And uh, we came right up here with just within a handle or two of the 21.50 decent stop above, and then we rolled over. If we take out this formation above, that's going to warrant a decent strength. That's going to come in at fifty-eight sixty-nine thirteen minus forty-seven per hour, starting at one thirty p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if we broke above there decent, we'd probably run right back up and take out these highs and test deeper into this exhaustion. So. So just remember this exhaustion area, which is a medium term ex possible exhaustion is from 59.18 to 59.51 and a quarter. Okay. okay. You want to take a look at the gold? Yes, sir. Got to look at the gold. We're trading at 27.50. Boy, that's a little below the high, but still way up in the air. Right. So the gold, uh, we've been bullish from obviously since we've been doing this show from August 16th, 2018, we rode 1,588.9 per ounce. A lot of other bullish calls in here. The, one of the macro ones I've been talking about on the show here for the past number of months is the solid trade above 2147.50 to 2148.40 projects this upward, 151 minimum, 954 maximum. So we are 624.2 into that. A lot of other bullish calls in here, they're all on hold right now. Um, I warned of lower time frame exhaustion at 27.72 to 27.80.70. Uh, we held this with a 27.72.60 high and rolled over 50.4 right down into here. We also took out these two trend lines right here, which I had uh, listed and talked about in yesterday's post-market synopsis that they would likely bring in pressure, but I did not suggest leaning against them as a short as they fell just below the minimum standards that I have to make suggestions against shorts. Nonetheless, if we break back above this lower one, which is going to come in at 27.60.30 plus 5.5 per hour, starting at 1.30 p.m., 1.20 p.m., that will warn of renewed strength. And then that would also warn that we're likely in a, a, yet a later last stretch of this move up from 26.18.80, and that would be where you have exhaustion levels in here at 2781 to 2786, and then we have higher ones up here at 2803.80 to 2817.10. And if we come off, um, if we continue to come off, there is a major formation down here that comes in at 2673.90. Plus two per hour. And um, Mike, I've got a question from yeah. one of our listeners. And where would be the point where you think the trend would change uh, to down in the gold? That's a question that he's asking. A break the price there that would uh, maybe be a red flag. Well, it's already broken this short-term trend, but this is just in a lower time frame. We're talking about okay. a higher time frame. Um, it would have to take out this line right here, and that's going to come in at twenty-seven. 2673.90 plus two per hour starting at 1.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if okay, we that'd, be down below, that'd be down $100 from the high because it was 2776. So 2676 would be $100 lower, roughly $50 lower than where we are right now. Is that correct? Yes, exactly. Okay. If we broke below there decently, it would, it would project it down with another 100 per ounce from there. Okay. Now, good, if we good. broke below that decently and back up through it decently, I'd be out of all my shorts at that point. I'd be long, and then I'd be looking for a possible run back up towards the highs. Okay. That's a couple more steps out. Hey, how do the folks reach you if they want to get in touch with you, Mike? All right. Uh, did I close it? Give me a second here. Can everybody see that? Mike Moore, more analytics. Why don't you yeah. Why don't you spell it out? Because people are in their cars and stuff, and sometimes they yeah. uh, they're not watching, they're listening. So why don't you tell okay. them about so, what that uh, email so address my last is? Name and stuff. is Moore, my last name is Moore, spelled M is in Mary O O R. There's no E at the end of that. 
So it's just more okay. analytics, M O O R A N A L Y T I C S dot com. Okay. All right, and, my uh, friend, listen, thanks for joining us today. And uh, we're going to be back with you real soon. So keep keep our cards and letters coming in. If you see anything you want to talk to us, give us a jingle. We'll put you on the air. Thank you, Larry. Thanks, Mike. You bet. Mike Moore, folks, more analytics. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, this is the uh, January soybeans. We sold them here at uh, 08 and a half. Uh, they now have three and a half cents profit. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your stop at break even. And if the trading gods are with us, you'll be able to cover them at 994. That would be a $700 profit with $150 risk. That's uh, four and a half times. That's pretty good. So you either break even or you're going to make uh, $750. That's the bottom line. Hopefully you'll be able to join us tomorrow when we do our live session. We'll be doing some of these uh, types of charts. Uh, usually do three or four trades a day. Uh, and uh, we've done okay. We've had a few losing days out of the 14 things we've done. I think we've had... Uh, three losing days and one break even and 10 winners and a couple of those winners were really big ones so that's it someone's asked about the treasury bond market folks it's bouncing today but believe me this is the definition of a dead cat bounce let me get this up here 
So you'll be able to see it. Here's where we are. You'll look at, oh, this is, this, if you want to call this a bounce, hold on, let me refresh all this stuff here. There, as you can see, we're having a little bit of bounce here. Uh, and for our, well, we're a little over a point, folks. Uh, let, let's look at it on the hourly chart because it'll look pretty good on the hourly. Yeah, there it is. You see, we've already uh, coming back a little bit. We're making an actually A, B, C, D right now, actually. From uh, yesterday to the day, you'll be able to see it uh, unfolding as we speak. There's your A, B. There's your CD, and that should have did it. That's probably all you're going to get, A, B, C, D. If you look at this on a longer term, folks, this has been in a downtrend for a very long time, and we're going to be approaching the big 382 on this one right here. That is at 09. Uh, so, and we had a high of 9 today, and only another 9 ticks. It's going to be uh, right at the old 382. So, live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless, and try to do something nice. For your neighbors, folks, because by golly, you know, there's a lot of folks out there. Oh, there's a flashing, streaming again. Shut the front door and made it to the end. See you on the flip side, folks. May God bless. Mm -hmm.